teeth are going to be shifting you know they're trying to realign and it's one of those things where at times i lie to you not i've literally felt like my teeth were going to fall off I couldn't eat anything at all which is the most it is not was but it's just the most uncomfortable thing ever when you're going in for maintenance all in all you know have a clear understanding of this journey that you are about to partake in in a nutshell hello 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 welcome family i am harper lee this is Life 2.0. For those of you who are new viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for those of you who are existing subscribers and you have watched a few of my video, welcome back. Thank you again for coming back. This video is a part two to adult braces getting wired. In the part one, I explained to you, I gave you the backstory. I had a little story time and I gave you a backstory on to why I had gotten braces and the symbolisms behind why I had gotten wired. And um, I said that I will bring you a part two so that for those of you thinking about getting braces, this can at least be of assistance to you. So buckle up, as you guys know, my stories and my videos are short and sweet. So we're gonna go through what to prepare for with getting adult braces, AKA getting wired. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do and once you've decided that you want to do braces and, you know, this is something that you're serious about is have great communication, you know, with the dentist and with great communication, find out what is the time frame that you can expect to have your braces. Every situation is different because everyone's needs are different based off of what's going on in their mouth. Um, we're, we're not monolithic. We're not the same. So things are just different. So communicate with being very clear with your dentist on what the set time frame is because that matters. You can go from two years throughout. So just communicate effectively and know what you are about to embark on. Um, number two, have a clear understanding of the journey that you are about to, you know, partake in. Again, for me, this was like, it was it was a culture shock for me. I did not expect for it to be this way, but it was. So with having a clear understanding on the journey entails understanding that there are going to be, you know, some pain. And then the other side of that is that there are going to be, there's maintenance. The pain is one of those things where I wish I had, you know, been prepared for that. The one difference that I will say uh, regarding uh, adults versus children is that, you know, when you get, as kids, you know, things happen, scratch, bruises, things of the nature, it's like a thing of the past. Children get braces and it's on to the next. As adults, we are in the now where we are like hyper conscious and hyper aware and hyper focused. And I don't know about you, but for me as a grown ass adult, I don't want to experience any discomfort and any pain additional to what I have to experience as a woman. And you can read in between those lines. And I didn't went through childbirth. I didn't went through removing, having gallbladders and stuff removed. I, if I can avoid pain and discomfort, I will do that. So just, you know, prepare yourself for that because I will tell you when you go in for your maintenance, which is every couple of weeks, maintenance entails them, you know, tightening your braces, restructuring and, for the next two weeks after from your appointment, you have to, you know, you're going to be with the discomfort. You know, your 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 teeth are going to be shifting. They're trying to realign. And it's one of those things where at times I lie to you not, I've literally felt like my teeth were going to fall out. I couldn't eat anything at all, which is the most, it is, not was, but it's just the most uncomfortable thing ever when you're going in for maintenance. For me, it makes me cranky. So I have to like mentally prepare myself when I'm going in to do my maintenance. Uh, so I have a clear understanding of this journey that you are about to partake in, in a nutshell. Okay. All right. Number three, you are going to have to relearn how to talk and readjusting your mouth. I can recall when I first got my braces, I felt like a, a horse. It was one of those things where I, I, I couldn't even talk clear. I just was relearning how to adjust my mouth at these braces. And since your lips is just not going flat on your teeth anymore, you know, you have these braces here. So it was like an overlay. So you're going to have to readjust with, um, with talking and, um, and just, you know, take them one, one step at a time. Just take your time with it, okay? So that's the, you know, the third thing. Or you're going to have to 
research foods to avoid and know what foods that are, you know, are braces friendly. A lot of the soft foods, of course, is going to be braces friendly and you have to avoid a lot of, you know, the hard foods. You know, I'm like a seafood lover with crabs and shells and things of that nature and I shouldn't have it. Every now and then I indulge into it, but that's something you can't really mess with. And with the soft foods, as you know, I'm quite sure you got the mashed potatoes, you got yogurts, you have so many things that you can indulge in. And with the, the, the soft foods, you know, sometimes a lot of things are not healthy. So you may want to, you know, research and go the route with, you know, engaging in a lot of smoothies, um, eggs, uh, you know, just things that and that's not high in calorie intake, carbs, things of that nature. So just prepare yourself that, you know, your diet is going to change based off of um, what you can and cannot chew because, you know, you can risk your brackets coming off. The biggest thing for me is getting into an appointment to get those um, brackets repaired. So be very conscious and aware of the food that's braces friendly and what's not braces friendly. So just prepare yourself for that with, you know, having a clear set, you know, list of foods, pack your refrigerator, your cabinet, and go from there, okay? Okay, and now we are going to go back and visit uh, the, that you're going to need uh, once you get braces. So I am going to, I'm not sure which side of the screen is going to be on, um, but what I advise have on deck is a water pick. I can recall in the very beginning days, you know, I used my water pick and I had gotten a portable water pick. I had gotten from off of Amazon, but you want to do the water pick because water picks are very essential. It's very effective. And again, if you're someone, if you work, you know, if you're always traveling, you don't want to have a full big water pick, just get a portable one that you could just stick in your purse, your pocketbook. And it's very key and is essential to making sure that there's no food or debris stuck in your braces. Okay, the other key thing that you need to have immediately are the dental picks. These dental picks are everything for me. Again, when I don't have my water pick, you know, on deck, or even if I do have it, sometimes I just don't wanna do the water pick. I'll just go ahead and get the, the dental pick, case of them from Amazon. And basically these things, you could just go inside and you're cleaning inside of your braces. Um, you're getting everything that, you know, that, that could be stuck. Cause sometimes you may have like, you know, I like certain nuts. Sometimes those may get stuck in there that water pick may not be able to get out. So I find that those dental picks are essential and they're every single thing and I completely love it. Sidebar, I also have a pocket mirror that I put in my little, you know, my, my, my case that I carry. And I need, and I use that pocket mirror just so I can just any given moment, I'm flipping that out and I'm literally just looking inside of the mirror, making sure I've gotten everything out. So pocket mirrors are excellent to have. Another tool that is essential um, during your process of adulting with braces is getting the dental wax. And it will be posted in this section here. And I had discovered the dental wax following days after I've gotten my maintenance, sometimes a little wire may have poked out or the bracket have been shifted or anything like that. You'd have to prepare yourself for uh, some some damage being done internally with the wires and you getting scraping inside of your gums. It can be very, very messy. So with the wax, you just basically just pick the wax off. You know, it's like a little puddle, adjust it with your fingers and you're gonna apply the wax to whichever, whatever is the irritant. You can place the, a piece of wax over that and what it does is it creates that barrier between that and your gum inside it you know the rawness of your gum and i find that they are like every single thing um, it's just the best thing so make sure that you are equipped up with the dental wax i carry all of these things in my bag when i'm traveling when i'm going just anywhere if i even go to the store you know i have these things on deck so Make sure that, you know, that you fully research, that you are prepared. Just don't go into this on some, okay, I'm just, you know, getting braces and that's that. No, it's a big deal and prepare yourself. So I hope that these uh, essential steps and tips have you know, helped you. It could be beneficial to you. Adult braces, getting wire, preparations. Enjoy, good luck, and thank you so much for watching.